first heard the news about the delay of the flotilla, I was absolutely gutted. And we are recommending that you sadly return home. <gasps> uh, I'll be honest, I was bubbling like a baby. It wasn't for me though, I, you know, I went to meet up and it wasn't for me. It's about all the aid that carried in that ship and I kept visualising all the children, the people in Gaza who were really, really hoping that we were going to deliver the aid. It just really, really got to me. It was really upsetting. Uh, I am Margaret Pissetta. I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. Because of this delay, I actually have to go back home. I feel angry. I feel angry at the governments. I honestly thought we'd have been in a boat delivering aid, getting back in a plane, getting back to normal life. And the people in Gaza are starving and the genocide continues and there's nothing that I can do about it. It's very, very upsetting. I definitely will be the first one in the plane to come back here and rejoin this flotilla. I just want to burst with rage at the fact, but it's made me more determined than ever. I will never give up. Never, ever will I give up. You know what? They definitely will be sailing. They're not going to stop us. So I'm going home to campaign even harder. You know, I do believe it's down to people power. The people have the power. Please don't think you can't do anything. You can do massive amounts. Please keep highlighting what's happening in Palestine, Gaza, the West Bank. Keep pushing your government's politicians. Please get out in the streets as people are doing. Look what's happening in America. Let's do that in every country around the world, and I mean every country. To free Palestine? <laughs>